truck in the shop for some preventative maintenance. I've been in this hotel room for some days, but it's all been worth it. Now, why I say that you should wait to buy your truck, we're going to get into that just after I say what I'm about to say. Some of you all know that sometime last year, literally around the time that I got my truck in May, I bought my mom a car. The reason why I'm about to tell y'all this story, because it was very significant. The person, one of the people at one of the dealerships who was trying to sell me the car, he offered me a job. And I was so flattered because I was like, my skill set was, you know, you gotta know how to talk to people. You have to know how to negotiate. You have to have certain tactics, business tactics. You have to be able to have a little bit more knowledge or at least feel like you have a more knowledge on that vehicle more than they do, you know? So the man offered me a job. My point of what I'm trying to say is you have to have a great amount of research in what you're getting into yourself into before you get played. That's my point. No one can really tell you whether you should or shouldn't buy whatever truck you want to buy. That's your decision. That's your choice. I still get backlash with my high mileage truck in which people tell me I went wrong, but I feel like I did great. Anyway, my point of the matter is put yourself in the shoes or the position of who's selling you the equipment. Whether you get it from the auction, whether you get it from a dealership, whether you get it from a private carrier off of Craigslist, put yourself in the position of the person of where you're going to get the truck from and you will be a lot more successful don't rush your process trust your process make sure you have a a solid amount saved up what's a great amount it depends on your pockets okay i know for me after my down payment of like a little over seven grand i had like 20 grand still there <laughs> so it worked out for me because like i said i stay on top of my equipment you know like i put my truck in the shop this week because Trinity is ha like has high mileage. So anything to prevent bad things from happening. You will know, your gut will kind of tell you whether you're making, whether you're rushing into your decision. Some people get a truck as soon as they get their CDL. Some people wait six months, some people wait a year, some people wait 10 years. Do what's best for you, go at your own pace, walk in your own shoes and let it work, honestly. And don't let no one discourage you from doing what you want to do. So that's that. And honestly, don't rush your process. Well, I forget to tell y'all, just like I wrote in my book that's on Amazon, trucking has been my biggest and best investment. I'm telling you, if you have a business plan or some type of blueprint to facilitate your overall vision, trucking, if you do it right, will save you. But now, with everything changing within the government, please do your research if you buy a truck. That's all I'm gonna say. Stay safe. So who's to tell you whether you should buy old or new? Nobody, really. They all do the same work. Me, I just stay on top of my equipment between my air leaks and my oil leaks and everything going on with my truck. This is a to be continued and make sure you save your money and do honestly what makes you most comfortable. Till the next.